Gunmen raided Southborough Portmore St. Catherine on Tuesday evening, killing two people and inflicting injuries on five others, including reggae boy Malik Foster. It's reported shortly after 9 p.m. Persons were gathered on the road playing dominoes when they were approached by men who opened a gunfire. A resident painted a picture of the hours leading up to the incident. Yes, it was. Because in my house, me, my daughter, and my grandmother, granddaughter, and I heard the shot them at uh, I turn off the light and lay flat on my, my, my belly. Then my daughter looked through the window and she saw it. And she like, Mommy, Jason got shot and me. We run out and start screaming. But it was pandemonium, it was panic. Jason is a good guy. Muscle is a good guy. Mali Pasta, he just love. They just run here and they just unite. It's sad, it's sad, it's sad. Up until news time, the footballer was hospitalized while three persons were treated and released. In the meantime, the St. Catherine police say the attack was carried out by four men. A witness also told our news team that the attackers entered the area through a yard close by. One of the deceased has been identified as Jason Thomas. It's understood that he was targeted in a previous shooting. Jason was attacked from his rooftop about um, three to four months ago, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe not so long, but you know. Um, but something is strange, and I actually picking up what is going on. But I will actually do my detailed investigation some more before I say anything. Councillor for the South Borough Division, Ainsley Parkins, says it's not the first time the community has experienced such an incident. Well, I uh, would have a killing recently, maybe about two months ago, um, over the other side of South Borough, Nel Nelva Road. But um, that killing was... Uh, Actually, um, it was men who drove their car there and killed their own friends. Um, one, one was shot dead and the next one was hospitalized. He was able to talk that his, it was um, his driver shooting. But this one now it is actually um, very much rigid, um, out of context um, to see this happen. Sandy Williams, Frontline News.